Look at that fish for you. Welcome to another edition of Don Alfin on Fishing. You know, today I started out and I'll probably show you a little lake trout that I caught on my glide bait. But uh, but in reality, this has turned into a to a kokanee day. So got a nice uh, mid-teens or whatever uh, lake trout on the glide bait and then decided to try kokanee for the first time this year uh, trolling. And uh, I ran into a school within about 10 minutes and and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Well, <clears throat> got the first kokanee of the season. If I can get it in. <laughs> there it is. That's a nice little fish, nice little coke. Well, where's you where have you been hiding, little baby? Well, this is the second one. Second kokanee of the season. Just barely got started. Just put down my rig and there were the kokanee. So we're we're in them. There we go. Not a best, not the best camera job, but I'm just fishing in 14 feet of water. Got my downrigger at 14 feet, probably 60, 70 feet behind the boat. I'm just using a spinner, little little uh, chartreuse and white spinner. Uh, and uh, and these fish have been this uh, school that I keep running into is is pretty consistent. It's uh, it's only it's just really really up up in the water column, and. Um, and so every time I've come past it, uh, I get a bite. I just lost one, didn't, didn't get it in, but I've got two in. And that happened within about 15 minutes. So, so we've, we've got a few fish found finally. I uh, really haven't been looking for them too much but because uh, I've been busy with lake trout. But looks like the kokanee are arriving and uh, coming up and, and uh, certainly are willing to bite today. Um, I've got a... A, a surface rod I call it out with pink on and that hasn't been hit yet but the fish might be just a little bit below where that one is in the water column so fun times well there's the next one that feels like a nice little fish see what happens he's coming up to the surface pretty quick well, he doesn't want to. He doesn't want to give up. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I love this little rod for for. Cooking. 
kokanee. Just really, really nice bend to the to the rod, but it's got a little tiny bit of a backbone. Kind of a light medium. Uh oh, it's coming across the surface. Coming right at me. I don't know whether I can flip this in or whether I need to get the There we go. That came in pretty slick. Well, that's number three. Down in there, there's not bad fish. Okay, I'm trolling at about uh, anywhere from 140 to 120 feet. Um, and uh, the kokanee have been not quite on the surface, but down about 15 feet. And um, there are not a lot of, 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 of fish in the schools. I'm, I'm thinking there's probably 20 or 30 fish I'm seeing in each school, but there are several schools. And um, and so I've just been working my way through them, and uh, and I've had uh, I think I've had eight bites, and I've got uh, three in the boat, and uh, just lost one at the boat. So uh, not a bad not a bad little start. Uh, I've only been fishing for about uh, 35 40 minutes, and uh, it's a beautiful day. It's supposed to be windy, but the wind hasn't come up yet. So I'm just kind of enjoying myself doing this, um, and uh, I hope I can uh, can uh, find a couple of more schools. I'm out of the one right now, but it was sure fast and furious while I was in it. So um, pretty simple. I'm just uh, going at 1.5 miles an hour, and uh, just have the one uh, downrigger down. I have another rod that's out. That's a surface rod, but there's but there's been nothing at the surface. So uh, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, got another one on. This one was uh, is the pink one that I had going. Feels like a good fish. Yeah, jumping like a mad madman. Be lucky to get him in. He's so excited. There we go. Came in just fine and got off. That's great. I don't mind that. I don't have to deal with the net. Well guys, th thanks for watching another edition of Don Off and On Fishing. Uh, started out to be a nice little lake trout morning when the glide bait and it ended up being a, a really nice uh, first limit of kokanee uh, and uh, and just did it on just standard uh, uh, Colton Christensen Lakeshore tackle gear using this uh, oh, I guess I lost the hook on this but but uh, just a little teardrop and then I've got a, just a standard flasher with uh, green and and uh, and uh, <coughs> pink, and uh, they just it, they just were really ready to bite today. This is <coughs> what I've been using this morning. Just a nice little flasher, um, and I'm using a spinner with uh, pink and uh, chartreuse on it, using a sh uh, chartreuse maggots. And that's, uh, that's what I used today, and uh, they were ready to bite. So it's great to have the kokanee up, and, uh, and uh, they're in open water. They're not necessarily holding to anything. They're just in open water. I've been in 110 to 150 feet, roughly, um, uh, and uh, was able to get my limit at about, uh, I don't know, by 45 minutes. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and we'll catch you again soon. Thanks.